Welcome to Season 2, Episode 16. This is a film about the 201K, and we're going to be threading the machine. We'll be replacing the needle. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming here and viewing, and please do subscribe. It'll help the machines and Jeb Adams' channel. Appreciate your support. Enjoy. Actually, the film is supposed to be about installing it, but I didn't like the video, the little clip of what that I just did of installing it. So, I'm going to take it off and we'll do it again. As mentioned before, the check spring has a turned end at that end and that goes in the horizontal slot on the tension stud. Like, we'll put it on like that and then and we want it to fall down like that. And then we take the two opposing discs, we take these two opposing discs and we oppose them and they don't have a horizontal crossbar so they can just go on and you, and you just put them on. Here is the thread guard. This thing here, that thing there, is the thread guide. This is the thread guard and this protrusion here goes in that hole there and we'll get this on like this. There. Here's another look. There. So there's the needle thread tension assembly installed. So here is the plus minus indicator, actually the minus plus indicator. And you want the plus and the minus on the top. And you want the minus on the, on the left. Round thing here, which has the crossbar, which gets hit by the tension stud pin in here. And here is our needle tension spring, which everybody calls the beehive spring because of the way it looks. Needle thread tension stud. Here's the needle thread tension stud spring, the, be the beehive, that everybody affectionately refers to it as. And here's the stop washer. There is an angle. That angle, it has to point towards the, the sewer, the sewist. And then we've got this stop washer, this lock washer, stop washer, but notice there is a, a curve there, so we want the curve to, f to point towards the sewer, like in this case it's towards the Jeb Adams. You guys having fun yet? And then we get the number dial, and we want the one and zero up at the top, and then this goes on the, the number dial, and we want to have like the zero one at the top, like that, and then it's just a matter of, and then I get the Needle thread tension thumb screw by pushing the dial against the spring, noticing that there is that little stud there that will go either in the one or the zero or in a hole near those two, kind of like that. And there it's back together. So that gives us another look, another view. Getting the thumb screw, threading it on. And we've already talked about, well, let's take a look at it while we're while we're here. What the hey? So there's another protrusion. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I had it on the wrong way. There's a protrusion there. I know you can see it. And I like to get that on the zero or the one or one of those places near there. So, but anyway, so there. We took it off and we put it on. So we've got the thread coming off the spool. That's just an open hook. It's not a loop. So we can get that down. Then we run it down by the thread guide to get it in between the discs and then we hold onto the thread up top so that we can get it to go right in there. Now we can bring it up to the pickup apparatus up here then down through here. So you can see how it, is, it has come down from here and then it's gone in here into this open loop and then over and behind this hook and then down and then it would go to the needle if there was one there so we can have it come down here through this open loop down in between the discs and then up and then there's a loop here at the bottom of the face plate and pull it through and then there's another one another open loop or open hook here. There's one more 
right there. And that's a little awkward one to get to. Oops. And then if there was a needle, it would now go to the needle. There's another view. It goes right in there. Then we run it down between the discs. Then up. Then we're going to loop it in here, like this. Then we're going to bring the thread down, and it has to go back here behind this little hook there. There. So that's in place now. If we had a needle on there, it would go to the needle. This angle here, we can see both of these two bottom locations where the thread goes. The top of the bottom two is this one here, and that's just a hook, so it's just loop it in like that. And this one here is also a, a hook, but it's open at the back end, not the front. So, and then now if there was a needle in position, this is now set up to thread the needle. But I wanted to take a look at that. I'd like to thank you all for viewing, commenting, subscribing, watching these films. Hope you learned a little bit like I did. Hope you enjoyed a little bit like I did. And I wish you all the best. Keep safe. Have fun. Thank you, my friends. Adios, amigos.